Ken Lewis Radio, Golf Victor Oscar Tango, run up complete. Just taxi to hold short of 27 on Echo. Hey, Victor Oscar Tango, Roger requests you continue to hold short traffic uh, just over the runway. We'll be landing runway 09 and then exiting onto Echo and RV7. Uh, checker marks, I'm looking for the traffic reach, Oscar Tango. Oh, I see it. Traffic says that, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll hold short on uh, at, two, uh, at Echo 127. So, yeah, the, correction, on Echo at 27. Victor, Oscar Tango, Roger. That's a good start. <laughs> Welcome to the cockpit. Um, you joined me here today, starting very, very late. Um, I, I had originally planned my takeoff time to be 20, almost 24 minutes ago. Uh, but today I'm getting my second hundred dollar hamburger. How cool is that? The answer is very, don't ask silly questions. I'm going to fly to a little place called Vernon. I've flown there a few times before, um, but I've never flown there when the burger joint is open. There's a, a burger joint that's very well reviewed called the Sky High Diner, and that is at the uh, Vernon Airport. So I'm going to fly over there. Hopefully I can get there safely and figure out where it is and a good place to park and all that good stuff. But it is a gorgeous day out. It's suspiciously nice out, so we'll see how the flight is. Do they have room to go by? My Delta is uh, clear on Echo, taxiing taxi back to Raven Hangars, and uh, we'll be coming back out for another sightseeing trip here in just a few minutes. Whiskey Mike Delta, Roger. And Victor Oscar Tango is right across 27. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger, you can cross special your discretion. Roger, crossing 27. Can't radio Jazz 5 5, ready taxi. Jazz 5 5, Terrorist Radio, uh, Roger, runway 27, wind 100 at 8, altimeter 3022. Uh, short delay for your clearance validation to your flow time, but uh, you can taxi and hold short. Okay, we'll uh, taxi Charlie to hold short and stand by for the validation, Jazz 5 5. Well, that's awkward because they're taxiing in, in the face. Jazz 5 5, Terrorist Radio, can you just hold your position there just for a second? The, uh, there's a Cessna taxiing on Charlie uh, towards the main apron there. Yeah, we'll hold here, Jazz 5 5. It'd be a quick taxi. Trying taxi quickly without causing distress. So a half hour late, not ideal. I do have to be back by two. So that is going to be a concern. Cause like, it's going to take me an hour. To, I'm estimating about an hour to get there. So I'm, if I leave at 11, hours 12, hour to eat, hour to get back. I mean, in theory, it should be OK, hopefully. And Victor Oscar Tango is holding short of 09 on Alpha. Victor Oscar Tango, you can line up and depart your discretion. Roger, Victor Oscar Tango lining up for the immediate. Runway 01. Runway 09. Golf Delta November Alpha Camus Radio Roger Runway 09, wind 100 at 7, altimeter 3022. There we go. TUPs in the green, airspeed is alive. My paper is blowing all over the place. 55, rotate. Up we go. So yeah, one circuit. I wanted to practice the landing before I uh, before I leave the area because my landings have been kind of hit and miss. It's funny because last time I did this, my landing in Ken in Kamloops before I left for Chilliwack was awful. My landing in Chilliwack was okay, and then my landing when I came back was awful. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be all right. All right, let's get her lined up. Nice and stable, I'm going to throw in 30 degrees of flaps here, give myself lots of time, get nice and stable on the approach. So the wind is pretty much right down the runway, so we don't need to worry about that, we'll just get it back over the runway a little bit, there we go. Alright, a little bit bumpy, that's okay. Nice light, the controls were fairly well trimmed, a little bit slow, I'm going to push the nose forward, add a bit of power. We're a little bit below 65. Oh, now I'm starting to balloon a little bit, so I'll pull up some power out. Quite high now, I'm going to pull more power out. 
Airspeed's good. Keep the nose pointing where you want it. You'll get into ground effect and things will settle down, don't worry. Peace. Oh my goodness. Did not need that. All right, we're landing a bit long today. To fly over that flock of geese. All right, so gently pull out the power. Pull it to cruise. Bit of a balloon. That's okay. Nice flaps up. Car peed in. That was actually half decent for having not landed in a while. Whew. Yeah, close to leaving the zone. It's really smoky up ahead. I did not realize it was this, like, it's, I, think, I feel like it's almost got more smoky since, since I got to the airport. There's a lot of smoke in that valley up there, so I'm going to have to really be careful. Anyways, um, so yeah, we're approaching our altitude, or 6,500 feet, that's good. Uh, climb speed's a little bit slow. It is, we are losing lift as we gain altitude. Beautiful day up today. Okay, the smoke isn't as bad as I thought it was. It looked a bit worse when I was on the ground, but from up here, it's not too bad. Lovely day for a flight. So, funny story about the place I'm going. Um, like with Chilliwack, I wanted to go and check it out before I, before I had a chance to fly there. And uh, so I went to Vernon, to the Sky High Diner, to check it out. And, uh, you know, found where it is and everything like that. But I just hap happened to be there on a day they happened to be closed. They're open most weekends, you know, most days, most everything. Yeah, right here. yeah so I did call ahead. I made sure they were open, made sure everything was good, made sure everything was everything. So, yeah. In theory, I should be able to get there, should be open, and all that stuff. The only thing I have to watch out for today is there is a fire that's in burning around Kelowna area. It's more like the North Kelowna area. So I'm obviously not going to be going that far south, but um, what it means is that my approach and my departure might be a little bit different. Anyways, yes, very much looking forward to, uh, to lunch. I looked ahead, see, saw, you know, what I, uh, what I wanted to get, so I know what I'm going to get. So yeah, this is cool. It feels like it's, it's, I don't get to fly very often, because I don't. Uh, it seems like my flights are few and far between, but, um, it's always nice to be up here. Okay, so we are approaching the village of Westwold. Actually, we're approaching Monty Lake. Nope, we're approaching Westwold. So basically, I'm turning up this valley right here to my left. So when I make the turn, I will call. Or around the turn, I will call, or near the turn, I will call or something. Traffic in the Vicente of Westwold, Cessna 172, Gulf Victor, Oscar Tango, 7,500 feet over Westwold, eastbound along Highway 97 toward Vernon. Or Westwold traffic, Cessna Gulf Victor, Oscar Tango. Anyways, yeah, hashtag beautiful BC, but this is a beautiful part of the world. If you ever get a chance to visit BC, you get a chance to get around a little bit. The drive, the highway that I'm driving on right now, very pretty part of the world, lots of farms and animals, and it's very picturesque. I mean, I'm not going to lie, part of me, well, no, I was going to say part of me wants to go straight up this valley to get to the lake, but where I'm going is actually over there. So if I wasn't following the highway, I would actually just go straight that way. Uh, I think it's pretty much where I'm going is right up that valley there, but I'll play a little safer today. Again, I'm just trying to make sure I stay clear of, like, any traffic that may or may not be fighting fires and stuff. Not that anybody should be up here, I would think, but... It's such a gorgeous day out. I should be, like, posting pictures or something. Let me just quickly check... Let me just double-check no TAMs before I get myself into trouble here. Crane, there's some IFR stuff. Uh, due to fire, missed approach. Do not exceed 165 knots. Not a problem. Forest fire. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I can go straight. Lunchtime, here we come. 26-7 traffic into the Sandy of Vernon. Cessna 172, Gulf Victor, Oscar Tango. 7,300 feet. Uh, about halfway between Falkland and Vernon, descending. Uh, heading south eastbound toward Vernon. 1267 traffic, Cessna Gulf Victor, Oscar Tango. I heard somebody say... I'm, I'll keep an eye out for you, climbing through the south. I'm trapping near Okanagan Lake. It's uh, Gulf Victor Oscar Tango. I'm going to try and descend to get underneath your 6,500 feet. 
Someone's out there somewhere. They were following the highway north to Kamloops. Probably good that you can go, they might be over there somewhere as well. Which would be fine. As long as they're not in front of me. Golf address to Tango Golf of Hotel Golf. I am now level at 6,500, and I will stay to the east and north of the valley. Uh, check that, this is Golf Air Truck Tango. I'm down below 6,000 feet, so I'm no conflict. Thanks very much. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. All right, good. Got just it, anyways. Hi. All right, so quick review. Me too. Cool. You guys doing the YouTube videos? Just shooting the flight for YouTube. Well, look me up at polygolsflying.com. Will do. All right, so it's paulgoesflying.com. Oh, okay, I'll look it up too. Uh, got a YouTube channel there as well, How I Fly. I'm well familiar with you. Have a good flight, Dale. Mine just says Laura Halliday, and it's not the Laura Halliday who sells real estate in Seattle. Okay, so elevation, runway elevation 3517. Circuit, 2,400 feet. I got that wrong, clearly. All right, airport, info, altitude, 1141 is what it is. All right, so on the circuit's 2,400 feet. All right, so I'm gonna have to switch to Vernon now. Vernon traffic, Cessna 172, Golf Victor, Oscar Tango, about four miles to the north, uh, four miles to the correction to the west of the airport, coming in for a full stop. Vernon traffic, Cessna Golf Victor, Oscar Tango. Wind. Traffic Golf Victor Oscar Tango is at 3,500 feet descending, crossing the uh, extended threshold. Uh, Going to join it downwind for 2-3 for traffic. I got you off the visual there off our left for 2-3 uh, uh, here. And for in traffic, Cessna Golf Victor Oscar Tango is just joining an early downwind for 2-3 full stop. For in traffic Golf Victor Oscar Yankee crossing midfield at 3,000, turning around descending to a circuit altitude to join downwind for 2-3. For in traffic, Cessna Golf Victor Oscar Tango, about 45 degrees uh, to, uh, into the downwind. Um, looking for the traffic across the field right now. Victor Oscar Tango. We're in traffic, uh, Victor Oscar Yankee is crossing back over the field here. Uh, looking for traffic as well. Uh, I have you in sight, you're just below me. Uh, hopefully I'll be in front of you, I'll be out of your way before you come over. Let's try it again. 
Just a bit too much traffic. I wanted to make sure that guy had time to get off the runway. There's somebody waiting to take off. Let's just let's just go ahead. Okay. And we're in traffic. Alpha Trust for Tango turning final two three full stop. Traffic in sight. In traffic, this is Fox Charter Telly and the Yankee. One two three for takeoff. All right, so as long as, okay, so we should be good now. Traffic, Delta Papa, Tango Papa, Airborne, off the 2-3 and 90 knots, is it good? All right, so as long as that plane, that plane will have taken off before I get there. So I just gotta focus on landing now. A little bit bumpy, but we'll, we'll get the ground effect here shortly. We're in traffic, HR, I'll look up to your front shot, Alpha Tango, mile and a half south of the field, 3,000 in the climb for 35, I know we're in north, northeast, on. Up, car repeat in. Okay, not a great landing. Big bounces and stuff, but we made it. It was too fast early on, and so, and I was too high, so I was trying to get down a bit faster. It was just a whole thing. It was just a whole thing. All right, well, we're here. This is exciting. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a place to park, because I really have no idea where I'm supposed to park. Um, and uh, having found a place to park, I'm going to grab lunch. Um, and I will tell you how lunch was once... Uh, you know, in next month's video, because again, I don't play, I don't fly much, so I gotta, gotta stretch this out as much as possible. Got helicopters around too. This is a cool spot. Little biplane over there. Hopefully, there's a free spot someplace. I also have no idea where people do run-ups around here, so I'm kind of at a bit of a loss. Uh, but you know what? Hey, it'll be a learning experience. We'll laugh, we'll cry, it'll be a whole thing. So. So I'm inside the, the terminal building here at Vernon, and um, I'm not sure how to get to the where this where the diner is. I, I'm not I not can't remember where it is, um, and I'm supposed to go out this door right here, but it's locked. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get back in the door <laughs> once I go out there. So I'm not totally sure how I'm, uh, hmm. I might be stuck here forever. Can I just park anywhere here, maybe? This looks suspiciously like not a place for me to park. I might have to move the plane. I really... Like, I legit have no idea where... 